Hello everyone, and uh, check out what DC is doing and up to. So uh, they're introducing the new R&D gear system. Basically, you're going to be able to scrap away all that gear that you don't, uh, you know, that you can't use anymore, and build a new and better gear with it. So uh, they have the new R&D gear system in place uh, after a little bit after episode 18 comes out. You know, and this is the simplicity of it right here. You just play, play content, get loot, salvage your unwanted gears. You break it down into components, convert those components into into the rare gear that you want using the new R and D plants, which I'll explain later. But got, that's the only thing that's got me a little worried. Although this is pretty good, you know. Let's see what else I can tell you about this. Basically right here, look, with the new R&D uh, gear system, every drop matters. Every drop is progress, and you are no longer fully at the mercy of random luck. In time, if you have not found the gear you want, you have the power to build it yourself. It's a little bit faster progression as well. They're implementing this in direct response to our feedback um, as a community. Um, you know, for the randomness of loot, you know, two elite, two elite pieces that you already have, and you're searching for that one piece... Um, or uh, you get real comfortable with this weapon, all of a sudden you get a rifle or something, and you're like, ah, what, am I, what am I gonna use with this, you know? So, uh, they got something for that too. I don't know exactly how that one works, but uh, we'll get to it. So, the new gear release schedule after episode 18, basically, uh, you, the gear that you have on will be, um, will be good for 12 weeks like it won't replace itself until after three episodes and a new cycle comes in so this means that each piece won't have a replacement until the next cycle or three episodes later because uh, it'll it'll be relevant for those 12 weeks they're gonna increase the drop rates 40% when compared to 17 I don't know if that's 17% or well yeah 40% compared to you know episode 17 that's what they mean so that's that's a whole lot. That'll get people playing a little bit more, I believe. More rare drops, less common drops. Plus, they got the R and D system. We're gonna get a weapon reward box started with episode 18. We'll no longer uh, a weapon will no longer drop individually. Instead, you'll receive a weapon reward box as a drop, which, when opened, lets you choose which weapon you desire. Now I hope what that means is like when it opens up, like when you open up a weapons box, it, you basically get to choose from all the weapons that they have available in the game. I don't know if you know they're just gonna give you a couple of choices, but if uh, if you can from here on in pick your the weapon that you want going forward, that'll be awesome. Especially if it's unattuned. The vendor gear stays the same. Now that's expected. Here they go into explaining, you know, why they why they're doing this and uh, some of the reasons um, and uh, frustrations that we presented to them as a community and you know why they feel this is going to help us out. So you can go ahead and click on the link that'll be uh, in the information section below. That'll take you to the forums and this link. Explain here and how the system works. Obviously, the green, blue, and purple gear system. You know, you'll get marks accordingly, uh, according to the rarity of the item that you're salvaging. The rarer the item, the more not marks, scraps. You're gonna get more scraps. And this this is a little cycle. I mean, a little uh, you know visual on how it's gonna work. You're gonna use a few scraps with uh, matter enhancers. And uh, you go ahead and um, make your rare piece. Uh, some of the details are in here. Go ahead and check that out as well. But uh, that's the basic gist of it. So it goes on telling you what kind of uh, what the drops are going to be per episode. Which once you get the top chest, back, legs, and waist of uh, episode 18, which is the one that's coming now, month one. Uh, those won't replace itself until, you know, month four, basically. So that's pretty good, you know. That'll make worthwhile uh, modding and, uh, you know, that it, it, it means that 
since you won't be replacing it every four weeks, your mark your marks will be a little bit more relevant as well. As if you buy the vendor gear piece, you know, you're already set for at least you know the upcoming twelve weeks if you get it on that first week. So this is some of the expectations that they have about how people are gonna use it. You know, about that some people are, some people aren't, they're gonna use it a little bit, and I know I am. I mean, it's, it, you already get this loot. Why not convert it into rare gear, right? Then they go into some Q&A. But uh, yeah, go ahead and check it out and tell me what you think. I think it's awesome. They're doing something with uh, all that, you know, great 112 gear that we're always getting. So if you can use that to get, you know, that piece, that shoulder piece that, that just doesn't drop, huh? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and uh, use this system now to... Uh, so go ahead and create the piece you want. So like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think down there in the comments. And uh, see you later.